Well, actually, here's the UFC featherweight champion Ilya Topuria, undefeated when he arrived at the title fight against Alexander Volkanovsky, and he was able to break through and get the job done. There is an undeniable sophistication to his game. He is a layered striker. He can grapple, he can wrestle. I haven't seen anything resembling a weakness on film, but I think his greatest asset is his ability to stay calm, cool, and collected in combat, and also to exercise some patience when it comes to pursuing a finish. He's one of the best finishers in the division, but it is never forced, it is never bad out of hell, and that's why right now he's the hunted and not Volkanovski at 145 pounds. Born in the great nation of Georgia, here is the streaking Armenia lightweight contender, Arman Tsarukyan. And when this man has been given big opportunities by the promotion, he has absolutely busted the door down. A lot of people harken back to his fight against Islam Akasha back in 2019. Prevailing wisdom is that that fight is gonna materialize again because since that point in time, Tsarukyan has been an absolute killer. And when he knocked out Benil Daryush in December of 2023, he essentially made himself undeniable. He has been must-see television, all offense all the time. And again, not a lot of fellow lightweights are calling Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard asking for a fight with the Armenian Armand Tsarukyan. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Elia El Matador of Warrior. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Armin Ahakalakas Zarukian. Herb Dean is your referee. Wait, wait. He's the third man in the wait. octagon tonight. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Nice. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Crazy numbers round one. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Lands a nasty body kick. Two minutes have gone by. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Nice punch here. Circling to his right. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. He gets in the single. Oh, oh he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Oh, look at that.
All right, so he's landed a few semo uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count to try to end this fight. And that, that's the danger in the engagement there. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've gotta do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Horn sound for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a... All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, nice straight there by Sawukyong. Serena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 31 seconds of round number two. To claim the winner by knockout, Armin Ahakalakis Zarukian! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.